We go now to the heavily impacted community of New Rochelle, New York, and CBS News correspondent Meg Oliver. Meg? Margaret, this drive through testing site is open 12 hours a day and has been testing hundreds of patients. It's the state's effort to keep people who could be sick out of health care facilities where they could potentially infect more people. Are you here to be tested? A steady stream of residents drove up and lined up for coronavirus testing just north of New York City. 70-year-old Michael Myers told us he got tested as a precaution. How are you feeling? We feel fine. He takes care of his 41-year-old son who has a spinal cord injury. How are you coping with all of this? Day by day, it's, you know, every day things change. In Kirkland, Washington's Life Care Center, the emergency has only grown. The number of positive cases jumped to 47 more employees at the center Friday night. Hospitals are racing to respond, setting up triage and evaluating how many patients they could handle if there's an onslaught of new cases. We would get them right into the back to be uh, treated right away without, without a second thought. Coast to coast, drug stores and grocery stores are no match for consumers who rush to store shelves for supplies. Apple and Nike both announced drastic action, closing most of their stores around the globe until March 27th. Back in the containment zone in New Rochelle, Jerry De Jesus is struggling to keep his restaurant open. He's lost 25% of his customers. People in this area want to just be get back to normality. Right now, there's panic in the air. For now, this is the new normal. The governor's office tells me they plan to open a new mobile testing site in Long Island in a few days. Their goal is to test 6,000 people a day by next week. Margaret. Meg, thank you.